I would like how you smell. It, was, it always smells good, Jeremy, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got a lovely fragrance. It's got a lovely fragrance. Oh, yeah. and, and what's wrong with me? All right, well, <laughs> plenty. <laughs> Look like you then, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Don't think he was a good looking boy. So Very good looking boy, yeah. Do you think I'm good looking? <laughs> Beauty's in the eye of the beer holder, Pricey. <laughs> <laughs> How many men have you got out with that you've been drunk when you met them? I've never had a one night stand. How many have you had? <laughs> ah, bit of your own medicine, Jezza. Let's get on with the show then. <laughs> <laughs> Join me after the break. We're right back when Katie Price admits how many men she did sleep with. There we go. Hello. So how, obviously, you know, we're talking joking about the whole Jeremy Carl show thing. How different is uh, is the emergency room to the sort of normal day-to-day -day Jeremy Carl show that we watch every day? We do all watch it. You're very kind. Um, how, how different is emergency room? Really interesting concept. Um, series three, I think. Uh, we keep saying it, you know, real people, real diagnoses, real doctors, you know, real nurses, real triage treatment. Uh, fascinating, though, you know, to think that on television in the afternoon, people will find out if they've got MS, if they're fertile, if they've got cancer. And, and, and that old story, you know, why would you go there? These people get really good treatment. Um, fascinating. Some very visual stuff. Some very emotional stuff, but yeah, mm. fascinating to do, I have to say. How, Starts how today you... at two o'clock. <laughs> two o'clock. What's the one that's got to you? I could see there that you really felt for that. Mm. That, the, the, that lady, we want... didn't, that clip didn't yeah. show now. Was, she was an end of life carer, fantastic job, and she was most concerned that if she had MS because of what that would do in terms mm. of how she'd be able to do her job, that she'd lose her job. Um, Who, what, give us, uh, tell us about somebody that got to you the most. Who's, who really I think they all that. did, really. I think yeah. when you tell somebody that they're cancer free or they're kind of a kid, Mm. Yeah. But um, real life, fascinating. There's one particular, there's some shocking stuff as well, but as, a, as, a, as an overall view, a real interesting show to do, I have to say. Mm. Do, Absolutely. You do, do you watch any of, do you actually go in and watch any of the procedures? I'm, I'm going to tell you now. So I'm, there were a couple of internal examinations. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. And, um, and, and I was thinking, that, and literally, obviously, it's all camera work, so, you know. Oh, yeah. And I'm actually behind this woman's head, obviously, for respectful yeah. reasons. Imagine actually... Looking up and thinking Jeremy Carl's there whilst I'm no. at this guy. I don't I, I've it. had nightmares of that. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to it's talk me. about that? I would ask if Jeremy Carl could be the other end. <clears throat> Do you get Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you squeamish at all? Well, th that's the other thing. I used to think I was squeamish, yeah. but no, actually, it's fascinating. Have you surprised yourself? Yeah, and I've learned, I've learned a lot. Diabetes, one of the biggest killers in the United Kingdom, that you can't yeah. heal from a lot of things if you've got diabetes. But some really sad stories as well, autoimmune things, where, where your body attacks itself from inside, mm. and there's mm. one guy who patently isn't going to go too far. And, and so... Has yeah. it made you a bit of... Because all men, as we know, are hypochondriac. Where did you get that I from? I love a sweeping statement on a Monday. But, um, <laughs> where do you get that? What? But, this is just like... Well, because every man I've ever met has been a crazy... A crashing uh, hypochondria. A crashing so has, yeah. hypochondria. So has, has, does it make you worry about absolutely everything? No, no, I, it isn't. My, it's just being 51 makes me think. Everything's <laughs> yeah, gone that. south and everything's... 51. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can just call him Jeremy. It's <laughs> I mean, obviously... Everything hurts at 51, though, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you think, oh, obviously, you had testicular cancer and, obviously, you've come through that and you're, you're all great now, but do you think it was going through something like that that gave you the empathy to do something like emergency room? Would you have maybe, dealt with it in maybe, a different way? Maybe. I mean, look, the Jeremy Carl show is the Jeremy Carl show. I think we're into our 11th or 12th year. This mm. is a very difficult, different thing. But th well, there was a whoop. Yeah, it was a whoop. <laughs> yeah. Who gave that whoop? <laughs> It was, it was a very unimpressive. <laughs> one, wasn't it? Uh, um, I love when you whoop. It's, it's interesting to, to do stuff yeah. that branches out from that. You know, never quit a hit and stick with that. But that's been really interesting, as is Carl Files. But emergency room has been a real challenge and a really interesting thing. The team worked really hard. And, yeah, I love it. I have to say, it is, it's a totally different thing to is, do. Is there aftercare as well? Because, obviously, you know, in terms of telly, it's all very well. You mm. get your resolution and, and this sort of thing. But, but they come, if you think about it, they come for a diagnosis which they get. They come for tests. It's not for me to get into a political debate, but one of the doctors said to me that I'm able to give some incredible treatment and, mm. and service in the half an hour that I get yeah. before, during and after, and then recommendations to GPs or tests, MRI tests. You know how expensive they are. You know mm. how long it takes to get that. So, yeah. actually, we're able to do that. I was going to say... Good.
I was going to say something, here we go. No, is this, no, no, this going to be like an intelligent no, is, question? Oh, get lost. I am intelligent. Well, don't pick on me. You don't pick on me. I'm going to stick up for you, Katie. Yeah, thanks. Who's moving one to the other? Clean windows, Jeremy. No, you don't embarrass the bodies, OK? I used to watch it and think, Oh my God! These people go on telly like that. When I've seen your show, it's more gruesome. When I say gruesome, it's more it, people with a lot more illnesses and stuff go on your yeah, show. Yeah, I think so it's. So why the... do people want to go on telly and show it? Do they actually get the treatment? Absolutely. Then? So, so that's they... why they go on. That it. is the best question you've ever asked. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> No, no, seriously. No, seriously. So, if you think that, it, it's really difficult because you can't get into this debate about we're not against any other no, situation. But no. if you can come to a television, this is a this is a real emergency room, real doctors, and we guarantee a diagnosis. If we can find a diagnosis, yeah. mm. they'll get tests. What did I say? M MRI scans, CAT scan, mm. everything, and blood right. tests, whatever. So a lot of work goes into it before, during, and after. And, and if that moves people on, which it has to, it's medical, yeah. it's massively important, it has to be done very seriously, then that's a really good thing. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.